Hi guys, it's Rampin FM, and today we're going to do a sort of mid-season review. No, we're actually in like sort of mid-February. I played a few games to go to our next game. Uh, you'll notice that some of the subs are in the starting lineup. It's mainly because I've been playing them to give them a wee bit more game time. So you'll see that a lot of the players were wanted during January. We managed to avoid selling anyone, though Jamie Brandon, I believe, uh, was a bit unhappy that we didn't sell him to Partick. But yeah, a lot of our players are wanted, they've been recognised that he's there, obviously we promised to sell him to Partick, but they didn't give us a high enough offer, I wouldn't have sold him anyway. The other thing, you might notice that they're not Scottish Wonder Kids anymore, some of them. Uh, Mikey Johnson got called up to the Irish under-19s, as well as Ronan Hughes to the Welsh ones. So I always thought that was interesting, we'll look at some of the other stuff, so... Yep, we're going to be improving the youth facilities, we're buying the stadium and the affiliate club which I asked for to basically get better training facilities because I think we had one star training facilities and that's uh, Herit Watt Unity, uh, sorry Herit Watt, Herit Watt University and um, their training facilities is Rickerton I believe and I believe Hearts actually used them in the SPL and I'd, I actually, I might be wrong about this but I think Caden Beef do as well. In terms of dynamics, everything's looking good now, apart from uh, Jamie Brandon. But yeah, I'm really happy with dynamics. It seems to have worked now. The social groups were leaded by, obviously, McKenna and Alan Campbell, who are our captain and vice captain, so no surprise there. In terms of staff, we've kind of kept the same staff. You know, Steve Nicko and stuff. So we're not really looking for too much more staff. Um, training so yep we're obviously teaching them uh, trying to get them individually trained up on different things and we'll just have a wee quick look at the, the improvements of the players so Robbie McGrory doing quite well there Scott McKenna no real massive improvements Johnny Mitchell's went down a couple of times, and that's unsurprising because he's not had a lot of games. That's what I'm trying to sort of rectify now. Zach Rudden's really improved. Obviously, some of his other you know defensive abilities haven't. James Scott's improved slightly. Jamie Semple's improved. Lewis Strap. So there's a lot of improvement in the team. Some of the potentials obviously went down a wee bit simply because obviously training and whatnot. But I think that can go up again. Jack Apeson. Jamie Baronis has just been an absolute machine for us. Um, the improvements for him has just been amazing. Absolutely chuffed with him. Jamie Brandon's went down a wee bit. I'm not sure if that's due to his unhappiness and stuff. I, I'm not actually 100% sure because I, I was a bit surprised at how far some of them have went down. But I do believe like attitude and stuff can affect that. Daniel Church improved slightly. Daniel fin uh, Finlayson not so much. I mean, these are guys that have not really had much game time. Mark Hill, I'm kind of surprised at that as well, that he's went down a lot. He has been obviously second string to Alan Campbell, but Ronan Hughes just something slightly. But these are, I mean, this is going to be a long sort of playthrough, unless I get sacked, obviously. Um, so they will improve. I have no, no real issues about that whatsoever. Uh, just looking at some of the coach reports, it's not actually what I want, um, what am I looking for? Uh, let me just get the right thing. Bear with me. I, I don't tend to look at a lot of these, um, I kind of know my team well. So yeah, we have a lot of strengths and weaknesses in the team, um, obviously still a young team. Yeah, so Jack Hitchson's our top striker, Zach Rudden. Jack Hitchson's actually kind of developed into a false nine more than anything, which is great. Mikey Johnson obviously is our left midfield. Jamie Baronis attacking Alan Campbell. Alan Campbell's actually our best right midfield, but Ronan Hughes second. Uh, Aidan Wilson, Scott McKenna and Kerr Waddle are pretty much our centre backs. Uh, Lewis Strap and Jamie Brandon are left and right back. And Robbie McGrory in goals. So we'll look at the league. 
And we are 12 points clear with 9 games to go. So we really should be winning this game now. We should, sorry, this league now. I, I would be very shocked if we didn't. And the average sort of rating for players, and there's a lot of, a lot of them for our team. But Jamie Baronis has just been an absolute machine. Definitely our best player, along with Jack Aitchison. And Jack Aitchison's our top scorer. 22 goals. He's actually well ahead of uh, David Goodwillie of Clyde, who we're actually playing in our next game. So hopefully we can get a wee bit more revenge on them uh, for that defeat. And Robbie McGrory is our best keeper, obviously. But than that, guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Merry Christmas to anyone that's obviously celebrating it. And I'll see you soon.